we're at Crowdsourcing Week and we're talking to Pools Lange Andersen from the Lego Group. Yes. Uh, you just uh, had your presentation about uh, the way Lego uh, works with crowdsourcing to um, uh, level inno innovation. Mm -hmm. Um, in your talk, you mentioned that normal innovation uh, takes about two years to come up with a whole new uh, product, and that's, that that is a long time for a crowd. How do you deal with that? So, um, obviously, using the crowd, we skip a lot of the internal processes, first off. So, some of the ideas are 80% ready to go to market, so we can by that we can be skipping the first year of production development. And then it's, it's really a matter of tying it to the retail windows we have. So when do we launch product that is made available for Target, Walmart or Toys R Us that are our biggest customers? We have a number of different windows, so we try to fit the production or the product finish into those windows. And then for uh, production speed, we have uh, the ability to, um, to do a fast track production where, um, first off, we base all, all the products on the standard system of bricks. So it's a matter of making sure that we have the right bricks available for the, for the product. Um, so by making sure that we don't introduce new elements and stuff like that, we can, we can uh, make sure that the lead time to market is somewhat uh, close to the expectations of the crowd, but also we got to, you could say, educate the crowd that even though you've, uh, we've uh, announced the product, there's, uh, we, uh, there is always a lead time for, you know, five months or six months before they're ready uh, in the local store. So innovation goes a little bit quicker with the crowd? Uh, yes, uh, innovation goes a little bit quicker, but that's, um, you could also say in, in standard ways that LEGO do innovation, we don't only innovate one product, we innovate a whole product line. So uh. that's not one skew, but that's 20 skews to the same product line. So that's the development of the two years. So because we do only do one product at a time, we can increase the speed. We would have the same situation if we were doing 20 products a year. Uh, you talked about uh, the success you have with a crowdsourced uh, mm -hmm. a new project. Product. Do you think innovation departments will uh, disappear over time? No, most certainly not. No, uh, we are working with it trying to establish two processes working alongside one another. So we have a very efficient innovation uh, standard part of the company and that's going very successfully. Um, this is very much about engaging with the community and you could say for us, as a byproduct, we have a healthy business uh, of products coming out of it. So we are building up the capabilities of collaborating with the crowd, mainly to get the insights of the crowd and not for the products. The products are the incentives for the crowd to participate. And do you also uh, participate yourself in the crowdsourcing platform? Uh, I'm, I'm a community mem member, I'm not allowed as a LEGO employee to submit ideas because I'm paid to do that already. So you need to be not an employee on this uh, part of the platform. Okay. Uh, 3D printers are coming up, we mm -hmm. also talked about it in the, uh, just now. Mm -hmm. um, how is go LEGO going to deal with that? Uh, I've we, we are definitely researching and looking into it. For LEGO, it's about the level of quality, first off. So in-home 3D printing, as of right now, don't have the level of quality to do LEGO elements to the uh, right, right quality. So you can't get the right clutch power on bricks and stuff. So in that sense, we don't believe that 3D printing as an in-home element is uh, right around the corner, um, but we know it's a dis disruptive industry 
that we are a part of. So as soon as it becomes an in-home commodity, one of the first things that users will be doing is printing Lego bricks. So we are obviously investigating how we can make our system part of that industry and not exclude ourselves. One of our expert questions, uh, we get expert questions through WhatsApp, was will you be still making toys in 2025? Yes. Yes? Yes, we are a toy company and we want to stay that way, obviously. Yes. Thank you very much. Thanks.